Hello and welcome to another vlog. So uh, this week quite a lot's been going on, so quite a lot to talk to, so I'll try not to take up too much of your time. But um, yeah, over the weekend and well since Wednesday really, I've been quite ill. Had a had a lot of pain in my uh, my arms across my chest, and so I didn't go to work on Friday. I've got the doctors tomorrow morning, so that's been a bit of a downer. Haven't been able to do as much exercise as, as I'd like to do, especially seeing as the Bristol 10K is coming up next Sunday. But um, hopefully, after my doctor's appointment tomorrow, I'll be back, back to normal and get back training. <coughs> uh, been at Inspired Times again this week on uh, Wednesday and Thursday, and that's been really good. Been doing a lot more writing. The issue goes to print in two to three weeks, so they're really trying to get all the editorials together now. So I've been doing uh, one for the magazine and two for online. So hopefully that'll go quite well. It's it's quite difficult writing for them because. Um, in journalism, I'm taught to always like you know get the facts there and make sure it's all structured in a certain way. Whereas uh, Sharon, the editor, wants it done in a really fun and informal way. So just trying to think up different words to use really is you know it's becoming a bit difficult because yeah she just wants it to be really creative and really different to the style I'm used to. But um, I'm getting there slowly and yeah hopefully now the they'll be ready straight to go into the magazine. Uh, I was meant to go to. Bristol Comic Con over the weekend. I got a free press ticket, so I was going to go down to that and write a piece up for the magazine, uh, for the website I write for, but unfortunately, went all the way from my house to Fish Ponds campus um, to print out the ticket because my printer hasn't got any ink. Got there and the internet was down, so I couldn't print out the ticket and couldn't go, which is a bit of a shame. It's, it was meant to be quite good, it's meant to be quite a, it's a small con, but you know, bustling, and there was quite a lot of 2000 AD people there and a few ex-Vertigo writers so it would have been good so it was a shame that I didn't get to go down especially as I had a press pass. Uh, what else has happened? Uh, last night I went to a seminar at the watershed um, called Banksy uh, Prankstraw Painter. That was really good. It's I think it's quite nice to, to do stuff like that to you know a bit of, bit of culture in my life. Um, yeah, it was really good. They kind of spoke about more about his role in society rather than who he is. I think that question is getting a bit boring now. I mean, you know, it is out there who he is, but he wants to be taken anonymously, so leave him anonymous. But um, yeah, it was really good. Uh, talked a lot about his work and what he's done for museums and how he's connecting with the youth and stuff like that. So that was really interesting. Also, this week I managed to get onto the show BBC Three's Free Speech, which goes live next Wednesday. It's kind of like question time for 18 to 25 year olds. So, hopefully, uh, when I go on there, I'll be able to ask a question. And, you know, there's been a lot over the last week about Rebecca Brooks and her relationship with the Prime Minister. So, I think my question will probably be related to that. But, yeah, if you could tune in on, on Wednesday on BBC Three, that'd be great. And, Hopefully I'll see you then. If not, see you next week.